Hey guys, Taylor here, the FedExpat, back with another video. We are in Shanghai, China, and today we're going to be going to one of my absolute favorite restaurants anywhere in the world. And it's a restaurant that has sentimental value to me. I've been going there ever since I was a little kid. It's just uh, a restaurant that brings back so many memories and it reminds me of my grandmother because my grandma used to take me to this restaurant when I was a kid and even now as an adult every time I'm back in Canada I go to this place with my grandmother and if you're wondering what that restaurant is it's Red Lobster yes you're probably thinking oh Red Lobster is not so special well you know what it is to me it is because it's a restaurant I've been going to for my entire life and we have one here in China and it's in Shanghai. So my wife and I are gonna be going there tonight for dinner. She's never been to Red Lobster, so she's in for a treat because it's, I love Red Lobster. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Those biscuits, buttery seafood, oh, it's just, I love it. So we're going to Red Lobster tonight and we're gonna show you what Red Lobster in China is like and we'll see if it's any different than Red Lobster back home in North America. So let's get going here. IFC Mall. Now we're going to Red Lobster. I just can't remember what food it, uh, floor it's on actually. I'm gonna have to check. I think it's on the top floor. All right, there it is. We found it. Oh man, I'm so excited. There it is. I hope we don't have to wait for a table. Oh yes. Red Lobster. I've been waiting forever for this. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy right now. Look at this. Oh my Guys, let's take a picture. Oh, they got the lobster fest going on. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm gonna get. Look at those beauties in there. Look at those beauties in there. Oh man. Okay. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna go get a table. Uh, you just. Oh, this is it? Oh, great. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, so we made it into Red Lobster. I'm so excited. Uh, let's take a look at the menu and see how it's different here in China than it is maybe in North America. I think it's pretty much the same. All right, so here's our menu. Let's take a look at it. They got lobster fest going on, so there's a bunch of specials. Lobster specials. Okay. Lobster fest. Appetizers. Well, things are pretty much the same. They got oysters, coconut shrimp, same stuff. Yes. Soups and salad. Okay, so these are the lobster dishes. Chili fried lobster, live main lobster, lobster flatbread, lobster rice bowl, New England lobster roll. Okay. And yeah, well, they got a lot of lobster dishes. Wow. What is this one? Signature lobster and wagyu beef burger. Wow. Okay, so shrimp dishes, a bunch of shrimp dishes, crab dishes, right. take a look at that. King crab, snow crab links, king and snow crab combo, some surf and turf. Seafood lover's feast, the ultimate feast. This is the one I was talking about, this one, the ultimate feast. That's probably what I'm getting. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for that ultimate feast. Oh, here's a surf and turf on this side. Okay. Desserts. 
All right, so we ordered our food. We got a bunch of stuff, actually. So Cass and I, we both got an ultimate fe feast each. So it comes with a lobster tail, crab legs, uh, crispy shrimp, garlic shrimp, and a side. We each got one of those meals each. And we also got 12 Hawaiian coconut shrimp as an appetizer and six of the raw oysters. We got that as well, just as an appetizer. And we got a couple cocktails as well uh, to start off the night. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be nice. Oh, and there's our biscuits. Oh, great, great. And they just brought us our biscuits. These are the famous Red Lobster biscuits that I absolutely love. And they're unlimited. I'll be eating a shitload of them tonight. These biscuits just bring back memories. Uh, they've got that nostalgic feeling to them. And I just, one of my favorite things about coming to Red Lobster are these cheddar biscuits. Fantastic. Mm. Okay. They literally taste the same and they're just as good as they are at Red Lobster back home. Mm. All right, our first appetizer just came, the coconut shrimp, and we got 12 of them. So we got a big one. So we got this coconut shrimp with like this, uh, I think it's like a mango, mango salsa on top, or? Oh no, it's not mango. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's something, that, there is ma mango. It's a mango cucumber, kind of like a salsa. And they give you this, they give you this, uh, like a pina colada dipping sauce, you can see here. I'm gonna dip that in there like this. And get a nice big bite. Mmm. Actually, I have to say these are quite good. This is a little bit better than the ones in Canada. The ones in Canada don't have this little mango salsa on top. And uh, in Canada, I think you only get six. Or I don't know if they have plates of 12, but coconut shrimp. Can't go wrong with coconut shrimp, it's so fucking good. Our drinks have arrived. I got a hurricane, and this is like uh, a rum cocktail. It's got rum and orange juice. I actually forget what exactly is in it. We took the drink menu, but it's supposed to be a red lobster favorite. And Casa here, she got a uh, sangria, a red sangria. So I'm gonna give this cocktail a try. I'm normally a beer guy, but I figured red, red lobster might as well have a nice cocktail. Let's give it a try. Wow, that's really, really good, actually. Oh, it tastes like a, have you ever had like a, a creamsicle? It tastes like a creamsicle, uh, or like a, like an orange popsicle, kind of. And uh, you definitely taste that rum in there, but it's, the rum is not so overpowering. It's a very enjoyable cocktail, I think. Very enjoyable. Mm. Very nice. You wanna try, just, just take a sip of this one. I wanna try yours. I'm gonna try a little bit of Cass's uh, red sangria. Yeah, let's see. Nice, nice, very refreshing this one. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with mine. So our next appetizer just arrived and we've got six raw oysters, uh, New Zealand oysters. And that's not something I usually get when I go to Red Lobster. I don't usually go for the raw oysters, but uh, we decided we wanted to do it because Casa likes oysters. So we're gonna go, we went for some of these raw oysters here and uh, they come with, uh, they come with a cocktail sauce and I believe uh, vinegar or something. Yeah. yeah, something like that. So I'm gonna go for some with a tip, uh, the, uh, cocktail sauce on it, but let's give it a try. So I'm gonna go for one of these oysters, and I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lemon on the first one. Oh, yeah. Squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. And with raw oysters, if you never had raw oysters before, what you gotta do is just scoop it out, and you just suck the whole thing down, just swallow the whole thing at once. Huh? Mm. 
nice. They're very fresh. Very fresh. Yeah. I'm gonna go for one with the with the cocktail sauce. Here we are. Mm. Very, very refreshing, and they're very, very fresh and tasty. Well, actually, the oysters don't really have any taste to it, but they're very refreshing. After me. Our main course just arrived, the ultimate feast. And you can see it's got everything just like the one back home. We've got lobster tail, crab legs, crispy breaded shrimp, some french fries, and some of that famous garlic shrimp uh, from Red Lobster. And garlic shrimp in butter, I should say. And uh, oh man, I can't wait to just dig into this. Yes, I'm gonna go for the garlic shrimp first. It's all dipped in butter. The butter and the garlic taste is fantastic. Go for this breaded shrimp here. The breaded shrimp, they got cocktail sauce, but I like to dip it right in that butter. <laughs> right in that butter, look at that. Amazing. Ooh. The shrimp are huge. Fluffy and everything. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. I that lobster now. I'm saving the lobster for last, I think. And the crab for last. But I'm going to get rid of this stuff first. Just to try some of that pasta. Mm. Not bad. I'm going to go in for some of this lobster. Some of this here. Actually, you can just pull it right out, right out of the shell. This is for the crab legs. Right? Nice big piece of lobster. I'm dipping it right in that butter that they give you the butter with the shrimp, the garlic butter, and it's just fantastic. Yeah, that's for the crab legs too. Yeah. Oh man, lobster with garlic butter is one of my all-time favorite foods. Yeah, I'm gonna try one of these crab legs now. They give you these crackers. They give you these crackers. Well, I'm gonna try to do it without the cracker. If it's cooked nice, you should be able to just pull it right out. Ah, you see? Just like that. You can pull the meat right out of the shell, just like that. You don't even need the cracker anyway. And to be right in the garlic butter. Mmm. Yeah, it is cooked quite nice. Really, really good. All right, so finish all that food. I'm absolutely stuffed. It was definitely an ultimate feast. I am just, I'm just stuffed to the top. I can't eat another bite. I'm, I still, got, we've got some more biscuits too. We've got some more biscuits because they're all you can eat. But I can't have another one, at least not yet, because I am just, just dead right now. But I still have my whole cocktail. I haven't even touched it barely. So I'm gonna have to just relax on that. We're not gonna do dessert today just because. We're so cold, but uh, it was fantastic. Just like Red Lobster back home. Um, can't really say that it's any different, really. Wait a minute. All right, guys, we're back at the hotel now. That's it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, they have red lobster here in Shanghai, China. It was fantastic, just like back home. Uh, I guess the only difference is it was way more expensive than it is in Canada, that's for sure. Our bill was about 100, no, sorry, 1,127 Chinese RMB. That's over 200 Canadian dollars, 220 Canadian dollars. Um, that ultimate feast that Cass and I each have, in Canada, it's about 35 Canadian dollars. Here is 335 RMB. So it was about 65 
Canadian dollars for the one meal. So it's quite a bit more expensive here in China, but you know what? We don't have it very often. It was worth it for that blast of nostalgia. I love Red Lobster. Like I said before, I've been going there ever since I was a little kid with my grandmother. So it was just fantastic to, to have here in China. And Casa loved it. She loves seafood. So we had a great time. Glad we went. Money well spent. I don't care. Uh, great time. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, for some more videos on Shanghai as well as life in China. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. Give it a like, give it a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Until next time, this is Taylor, the Fit Expat. Have a great day.